Yeah, blue jeans and ones and a white tee. Oh six hanging out the window like ye high feet on one off a bottle. What is going on, guys? It is Flame Reels here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install some custom sounds. It's a train simulator for those of the people, well, most of the trains community that doesn't know how to do it. Now, if you downloaded any of my particular assets from my website, I'll leave the website link in the description in case you want some other content. But if you download any of my sound assets and you're unsure about how to install them, well, you've come to the right video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. This video was made by a special request from Tyler Chelsea. Uh, my buddy Tyler. And, uh, well, this will be beneficial for everybody, so let's get right into it. Okay, first things first is obviously you're going to open um, whatever trains game you have. Um, as we wait for that, we can go and get our um, asset that we want to have. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to use my um, Amtrak sound pack. Um, it, I feel that'll be the best, um, best example to use here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my website and then we're going to download that while trains loads up. Um, and if you want to go to my website, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to go check it out. There will always be new content up as frequently as I possibly can. I'm always making something new. Um, whether it's routes or sounds or anything, I'm working on trying to learn how to model and stuff. So bear with me on that. I might get my own stuff up there. But, um... Um, okay, so we're gonna go freeware, and I already have this on my computer, but you know, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna download it for you guys. Uh, let's see. Um. Okay, yeah, sound packs right here. Alright, and uh, while that loads, trains is loaded up, we'll open up the content manager. Oh my goodness gracious. And it's behaving badly again. Okay, well, that's loading. Basically, it'll load. This is Google Drive, so you just press the download button and stuff, so it'll download. Um, I don't know why, and it just, it does this every time I use Internet Explorer, but anyway, uh, this is basically this thing that you would download, this is the, this is what I posted on my website, um, so you install the assets, CEPs, as most of you should know how to do, if you don't know how to do that, you know, just basically click in, and you can just click, double click the asset, and it'll open up Content Manager and install it, now, I'm going to show you guys if you download, let's say you want an engine sound you want to install, but I'll show you how to do that. And the same thing with the horn, I'll show you how to install a horn. Now let's just pretend you installed it, what you would do. Um, for me, this is in my content. So this it's right here, the same asset right here. What I would do, ah, Lord forgive me. What you guys would do, if you just start it, it'll most likely be in today's section, you know, what you installed on that day. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the asset, you're going to go down, scroll down, go to the asset KUID. All you have to do is select copy and then go to any locomotive that you want to install it on. Now, since this is a P4200 sound, we're going to obviously put it on a P42. Um, uh, you would select, let's put it on the, let's put it on my phase three. You select the locomotive you want, go to edit, edit in Explorer. that loads you go to the config file and this is basically where everything is the configurations for whatever logo you want now you see how it says engine sound right here this is the asset line this is the line, configuration line that is used for the locomotive to work and sound properly now for the new users I suggest you be really careful in doing this because you can mess up the engine now what you're gonna do is go to the engine sound just kind of drag the 
click and hold it across so you'll know what asset you need to move now. You do that, highlight it, and then press bas backspace, and then just paste it. Paste the KUID that you copied it. And if you have a horn sound, you would just do the same process. Now press Control Save, CRTL Save, and then you can close that, close that, and then you can commit the locomotive that you install the sounds on. And like I said, this works for engine sounds and horn sounds. You can install track sounds as well. Um, you know, little radio sounds and stuff, but you know, that's a different video. I'll do that in a different video. But this is kind of the basic on installing sounds for Train Simulator, and this can pretty much work, pretty much work for anything. And it, like I said, it's fairly simple. It's really simple. And once you get used to doing it, it won't be so difficult. And as you see, there's no problems. Now, if you have a faulty or a warning, you should probably go back and revert it and see where you messed up. But if you followed my process exactly how I showed you, then there should be no problems with the locomotive. And the asset itself that you install, like the engine sound or whatever. Now, if it's my engine sound, if it's my engine sound, then there shouldn't be any assets faulty or anything. But um, if it is, then just check it, see what's wrong. But that's basically the basics on how to install engine sounds for um, Train Simulator or any other sound. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.